Hi guys, so today I'm just going to be talking to you about how to create your own Pantone in Adobe Illustrator. Um, you can also use the eyedropper tool and several different other methods, but this is creating um, an exact match using the color formula. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create a box in your uh, Illustrator document and make sure that your fill is selected. Um, it can be any color that you want. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go over to Google and just Google green Pantone. If you have the formula or the uh, Pantone number already, that's great. You can do it that way too, but let's just use this first one that came up. 17-5641. So what we're going to do is go on to Pantone.com slash color finder, color dash finder, and put in the number that we found earlier and it'll come up with all of these um, different types. These are the different color cards that they come from. I'm going to choose TCX. These are thread colors and really the information that we want is this RGB um, formula here. And so I'm just going to take a screenshot of this so that we have it. Don't have to keep going back and forth. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to select our box that we have here and we're going to go up to um, our color guide. If this isn't showing, you can go into window color guide and it'll pop up as a separate window and you can drag it into your toolbar. We're going to go down here to this little color wheel looking thing. Um, it says edit or apply colors. Grab that. And you can see up here it already says recolor artwork and that's what we want to do. So we're going to put in this formula down here where the RGB is and um, the formula that I showed earlier, this one right here, um, that is on Pantone Color Finder. And what this is going to do is this is going to create the exact same color. Um, and then when we hit OK, it's going to come up here. And so if I click this, it's going to change it here. So you can see that these are the exact same color, which is great. That's what we want. And what we're going to do to add it to our library, um, and I'll go into um, once I do some more tutorials about how to save your own library and all of that stuff. Um, but just for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to create a new swatch. So go into um, your swatches here. And at the bottom, there's like a little square that kind of looks like a leafed page um, corner. And go ahead and click that when you have this object selected. And we, I, what I do um, after working in the industry for so long is I like to keep the names so that I can always reference them later. So I'm going to go ahead and name it Pantone 17-5641 TCX so that I know what color book it came from. Choose process color. Spot color tends to have some issues if you're going between like InDesign and stuff like that. So process color is a good one. And we don't want it to be CMYK. We want it to be RGB because that's what we just did. Um, and that's what Pant these Pantone colors are based off of. They're not based off of CMYK. And so I have it just um, checked to add it to my library, which is right here. This is a different library than your actual like, swatch library, but it'll go up in there, which is great. And you can see I've already done this with some other ones. We'll hit OK. And then it'll show up up here and then it'll live in there forever, which is really, really awesome. All right. Thanks so much, guys. And I hope to get a an additional tutorial to show you more about swatches. Um, but if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you have any questions, just go ahead and drop me a comment. Thanks.